You should definitely sign up for ID Me. You get a lot of discounts on there with um, a lot of brands that they have. I'm now gonna audit some charts. I've always wanted to try these. These are on clouds. I got a comment asking for some tips for the OR girlies out there or, you know, men, whoever, anybody out there. Good morning, everyone. It is 628 and I just made it to work. I have to beat her at 630. And I just thought I would take you guys through my day today. Um, I'm supposed to be floating, so usually I'll like help turn over rooms, stock, and pull cases for Monday, since today's Friday. And then we'll see what else. After work, I'm going to get like maybe food and drinks with people um, from work because one of our nurses is leaving sadly, so it's kind of like a goodbye. But she'll still be in town, so we'll see her again. But I will take you through this day and then I'll answer some questions I've been getting. So let's get into the vlog. I'm now going to audit some charts. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, and I did not feel much yesterday. Um, after I worked, I, went, I got some dinner, and then and then I met up with everybody from work for our, like, goodbye for one of the nurses that's leaving. And that was so much fun, hanging out with everybody. Um, I got to hang out with some people I haven't hung out with yet also, so... That was also really fun and I didn't film anything um, <laughs> so there's no footage from that but it was it was a good time so today it's rainy outside we're probably gonna go to some stores I need some new shoes some new shoes for work so my plan is to try to find some and yeah and we'll see what else we do today home from Shields and I found some shoes I got these I've always wanted to try these these are on clouds um, I don't know they're on cloud cloud swifts and they're really cute so these originally have a number seven on them so like I was like they're size seven I don't wear a size seven but I like them so much so I tried them on and they fit and then we discovered that they're actually my shoe size, but they were just wrongly labeled. A win is a win. <laughs> I mean, they felt really comfortable on. So if you guys have on clouds, if you ever had them, let me know what you think of them. I think they're going to be really comfortable for work. I used to have these Brooks. They're the Brooks Ghost 13s. And they were okay. Um, I don't know, these shoes were never that comfortable to me. And I've had them for a while, so I've been wanting to get some new shoes. Um, but yeah, so these are no longer. These are going goodbye. So we also got the Tundra 65 Rescue Red Yeti. So it's in this box, and I'm going to open it up here. If you're a nurse or like a first responder, military person, you should definitely sign up for ID Me. You get a lot of discounts on there with um, a lot of brands that they have. And one of the brands is Yeti. So we were able to get like $75 off of this Yeti through the discounts I got with ID Me. And we got this from Shields, which is like a store here in town, and they honored the discount that we got through the website. We just had to pull up the discount on the website. Here it is. So 
This is great for when we go camping and stuff. We can fit a lot more than the one we have now. And it comes with this basket for like dry goods. Yeah, really excited for it. Here's another close up of the inside of it. it says that it is bear proof. That's really good for camping because bears aren't supposed to be able to smell or like get into it at all. We also got these dot pretzels. I love these things. Someone at work had them and they were so good and I've had a craving for them for the longest time. So we got some of these. Hello, it is much later now. It's about 7.09 right now. And I really haven't been doing that much today. Just been relaxing for the most part. But before I ended this video, I wanted to respond to one of the comments I got. Um, I got a comment asking for some tips for the OR girlies out there or, you know, men, whoever, anybody out there. So I thought I would end the video by giving some tips that I have for working in the OR. If you don't know, I am a nurse and I work in an outpatient surgery center and I'm a circulator. So tips for working as a circulator. It can be a lot initially trying to know all the preferences for each surgeries for each surgeon. So I would say it's helpful to keep like a little notebook with you and drop down some notes of, you know, things to help you remember what to have ready for each surgery. And then as time goes on, you know, you're going to remember everything and it's going to be fine. But initially it can be a lot to take in. So I would definitely have like a notebook with you and make some notes because that's really helpful because you know when you're learning and there's so much to take in you can kind of i mean definitely ask questions ask as many questions as you need to but i know it can be kind of uncomfortable sometimes having to ask so many questions so if you have a notebook maybe that can help you from like asking questions all the time if you feel you know nervous to do that so that's the first tip i have second tip i have is to make sure you have everything as much as you can try to make sure you have everything in your room that you need for the rest of the day so like for example sometimes we'll have foot and ankle surgeries in the morning and then we might shift to like hand surgery later on so it's just helpful because sometimes you don't have a lot of time in between cases to get stuff ready so if you make sure you have like all your meds in your room for all your cases for the day or if you have like all your positioning equipment in the room, I think that will definitely help save time and hopefully you won't feel as rushed and hopefully that'll help you feel more prepared as well. My next tip would be to, during your orientation process in the beginnings, make sure you are being hands-on in your learning. For me, I am a visual learner and then kinetic. After that, I think kinetic is like when you have to actually do it yourself. So I think that, you know, once you see how, you know, whoever's orienting you does a certain thing or circulates the room, I would try to, as soon as possible, try to like take over, not take over and, you know, have them leave you, but I would try to like lead in the room, if you know what I mean. So instead of you watching them and doing what they tell you, you try to like take over and like do the steps that you need to do because I think that's the best way you're going to learn is by you doing it yourself and not kind of like sitting back and watching because you can sit back and watch all day but not catch everything. But if you start doing it yourself and you start making your own mistakes, then you'll be like, oh, I forgot to bring this in the room and we needed that. So since I forgot it, I'm going to remember it now because I'm not going to forget it again. You know what I mean? So... I think that is one of the best things to do is just be as hands-on in your orientation process as much as possible. And I think that'll definitely help you learn faster and it'll help, you know, maybe other people on the team see that you're actually interested in learning and interested in being like a team player. So that is my next tip. And then uh, I really don't have like too many tips, but... Huh, I'm trying to think of like the hardest parts. I think the the learning everything has been honestly the hardest part for me. It's just learning the setups and, you know, that's pretty much it. Setups and different preferences. But after you have that down, you're pretty good. Like you're 
it's all good. A lot of surgery is repetition. You're doing a lot of the same cases over and over again. You might have a new case that you haven't done or ever seen or, you know, haven't seen in a while. And, you know, then you can get a refresher from like your friends or whatever, your coworkers, charge nurse, whoever it is, they can like help you jog your memory for those surgeries. But other than that, it's just going to take time and doing those surgeries over and over again to get them down and to feel more comfortable. I think once I started working in surgery, it took me like a couple months, maybe like three months or so to really feel like I knew where everything was and felt more comfortable circulating, I guess. I mean, circulating isn't hard. It's just the whole setting up and knowing like certain things you might need for the surgery. And then the last tip I would say is to take time and you know, when you have a break or something, walk around the supply room, walk around the instrument room so you know where things are. So when they ask, when they need something in surgery, you can run and you know where to get it because that's like the worst feeling when you're like, they're like, oh, I need you to go get this. And you're like, um, okay, like, I don't know where that is. <laughs> so I think to help minimize that, definitely take time to look around, you know, the supply room that's like that's honestly another one of my hardest things is like knowing where certain things are that i don't get all the time so even if you have a friend make a friend there where you work you can be like hey let's do a scavenger hunt you ask me for something and i'll go get it you know anything to help you you know feel as prepared and ready for your day and for the surgeries as possible so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the tips. I hope they helped. If you are an OR nurse, circulator, scrub, whatever, um, leave your tips down below that you think would help other people who are working in surgery or wanting to work in surgery. And yeah, also, I know I talked to you guys earlier about that website, idme.com. If you are a nurse, um, you know, work in healthcare in general, um, military, first responder, definitely look on those websites. They have some really great deals for you know if you fall into those categories you can get deals off of hotels clothes different stores like there's there's all kinds of options so definitely check out that website but i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you in my next video peace